Hey, uh, Floyd Fernbeam here, and I want to talk to you today about a great way to predict the kind of winter we're going to have. Uh, the Fernbeam family has been known in these parts as experts when it comes to woolly bear, caterpillar, prognostication, interpretation. Uh, you'll hear woolly bears called many things. Uh, some people call them woolly worms. Some people call them winter bears. And uh, my one cousin, uh, he's one of them uh, science geeks, so he gets all fancy with it. And he says, they are the larval form of an orange lepidopteran moth called Peruxia isabella. Well, la-di-da, <laughs> I'm sticking with woolly bear. Uh, my great-great-grandpa, uh, Freud Fernbeam, not Floyd, Freud, uh, according to the Fernbeam family lore, he was a, a very interesting fella. Uh, he was nicknamed the Woolly Bear Whisperer. Uh, he was in the Army, and he rose to the rank of Colonel, uh, like his dad did before him, and he was a highly decorated soldier in the Civil War. Uh, he was awarded a bronze heart and a purple star, uh, they had to be made up special like that uh, after his commanding officer uh, made a, uh, a typographical error. Anyhow, uh, just so you don't think uh, we fern beams come from a long line of uh, warmongers, you know, uh, great grandma fern beam, uh, she was known to say, Colonel fern beam likes a good war, but every now and then he likes a good peace. Uh, anyhow, uh, great great grandpa fern beam. Uh, was in charge of the annual Woolly Bear Winter Prognostication Festival. And he passed that knowledge down uh, through the generations until it finally uh, landed on me. Uh, so now I'm in charge of the annual Woolly Bear Winter Prognostication Festival. Uh, so using the skills uh, that's been in my family for oh, many, many generations, uh, I'd like to teach you uh, how to use the Woolly Bear Caterpillar to predict winter weather conditions. And uh, this here was made by my great-great-grandpa Fernbeam. It's the official Woolly Bear Examiner. Uh, and it has right there the official Woolly Bear incantation. Uh, the incantation is just words you say before you examine the Woolly Bear. I know incantation uh, sounds a little scary, like it's some sort of sorcery or witchcraft or we're going to sacrifice a goat or something, uh, but it ain't like that at all. Uh, if you want that sort of black magic, you go get yourself one of them, uh, them uh, Ouija boards. Whoa, you know. Uh, or uh, get yourself one of them magic eight balls. Ask again later. Now, if that ain't the work of the devil, I don't know what is. Uh, so I always keep this here in a safe place, uh, it being a family heirloom and all. And uh, this morning, I had a bugger of a time finding it. I finally found it. Uh, it was down in the root cellar, in behind my grandma's moonshine still. Uh, we had to hide that from her, uh, you know, after her third liver transplant. Uh, anyhow, uh, you folks uh, is very lucky because uh, this method has been handed down from one generation to the next over 150 years and uh, this is the first time ever someone you know other than family is uh, going to learn how to use the woolly bears to predict the winter weather. Uh, so today I went out and I collected a bunch of woolly bear caterpillars. Uh, I put them in here in a coffee can and uh, you can see uh, right in there I got them in there put a bunch of leaves in there for them and they just about have them all munched down already. Uh, they are hungry little critters. Uh, they do love a good salad. And when you collect them, uh, just take a look what I got here. I got a lid on there. You don't need no holes in the lid. You don't. Uh, everybody says that. Poke a hole in the lid. You know, poke a hole in the lid so they don't suffocate. Uh, but that is just an old wives tale uh, and it ain't necessary because just think about it scientifically. Uh, look at all the air that is in that can and think how teeny tiny uh, them little woolly bears lungs is. Teeny tiny. There's uh, plenty of air in there, you know, that lasts a woolly bear three, four weeks, uh, maybe longer. Uh, so for the examination, all you got to do is uh, get out one of your woolly bear caterpillars uh, and don't look them over, you know, and choose one specific. Uh, just pick a random one out and uh, gently get the little fella out. You got to be real careful with them. They're fragile little creatures. Uh, and what you do, you, you put him uh, right here, put him right there in the little white circle. Uh, and if he crawls around, I mean, they, they crawl around, just keep putting him back in that little white circle and, uh, until he gives up and stays there. 
now we'll do the uh, the incantation and just to show you how important that incantation is uh, you can see uh, great great grandpa Fernbeam he attached it right there to the board uh, so there ain't no way it can go anywhere and that way you can read it you know just exactly uh, word for word uh, like our forefathers done uh, so first of all let's get our little fella out here and uh, put a mare in a circle come on out little buddies there's one curl up there that's like there when they curl up like that that's their uh, comfort position uh, that's like uh, curling up like your dog does you know so here's one right there he's on a leaf there I'm gonna put him right there there we go oh, this little guy he's on the go there get over here we oh, come on now get up there oh oh he's a fast one that one let me get him oh get back here Where are you going, little buddy? Oh, heavens. All right, we'll put him back in the jar so he doesn't make an escape. Oh, now this guy's on the move. Stay back in the circle there, fella. All right, uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to read the incantation. And uh, what I'll do is I'll like do a zoom in shot so you can see all the words uh, right there uh, so you can follow along. And it, that was, like I said, attached to the board. Stay in that circle, fella. Uh, like I said, that was attached there so I could read it word for word and get it just exact uh, the way, you know, all our forefathers had done. Uh, so, like I said, I'll zoom in so you can follow along. Uh, here's the, in get in that circle. Here is the incantation. <clears throat> woolly bear, woolly bear, just you and me. Tell me, I beg, what do you see? Woolly bear, woolly bear. Tell me true, good winter, bad winter, what say you? And uh, now all we have to do is uh, the examination. So let's open her up here and uh, see what Mother Nature has in store for us. Well, uh, some of the guts is over here on this side, so we're just going to pick that up there. Put that over here where it belongs, inside that little white circle. The leaf <laughs> seems like it was badly damaged in the process there. Uh, so just let me get the rest of them guts. Them over there too. Yeah, I got most of them. I think that'll be just plenty. Uh, anyhow, uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, pick out some of that fur. Uh, they know need to have that in there. It's not about the fur. There's a there, get rid of that uh, little piece of skin there. All right. So uh, once we get that fur out of there, uh, so we got the fur out of the way, and uh, next thing we're going to do is a visual examination. Uh, so looking at these guts, uh, I can see there's mostly yellowish green, uh, and that means a winter filled with sunshine. Now, if these guts was like all gray, brown, you know, and uh, like a darker, somber colors, uh, that means we're going to have a gloomy, cloudy winter. Now what you want to do is uh, give it a good sniff. Mm. Okay, uh, that smells to me like uh, pine sap and uh, birch bark. So what that means is we're going to have a winter with lots of opportunities to be outside, you know, among nature. Now, uh, if that was to smell like cheap wine and dirty socks, that means that we'll be stuck inside uh, most of the winter. Now, uh, take your most sensitive finger, and on me, that's my pinky finger, and uh, just smear them guts around a little bit. Uh, so just get a feel uh, for the guts there. Um, and then, are the guts thin and watery, or are they thick and chunky? Uh, so what I'm feeling here, these guts is thick and chunky. Uh, so that means a lot of wind and uh, drifting snow. Now, if them guts is uh, thin and watery, that means they're going to have, uh, you know, very little wind at all. More of a, uh, like a still uh, winter. So uh, now that you got a bunch of that uh, on your finger, uh, just give it a little taste. Now, listen, 
don't overdo it. This ain't snack time. Uh, we're just doing a, a scientific tasting here. Okay, uh, that tastes a little bit sour and a kind of lemony too. Uh, and that means lots of snow. Now if it's bitter or salty, that means very little snow, uh, but lots of freezing rain and ice. And if it's sour and tastes like a cold pizza, then look for a lot of them snowfalls that have like that uh, crust uh, on the top. Anyhow, that is all there is to it. Uh, so get ready for a winter with lots of sunshine, uh, lots of time outdoors, plenty of wind and uh, snow drifts and uh, above average snowfall. Well, uh, I have rambled on long enough. Uh, have a blessed day. And uh, remember, it's not what's on the outside that counts, but what's on the inside.